Hey guys, this is Eric. It's Tim. And we are D&E &E Miniature and Board Games. So today we're going to do our review of the gameplay of the game Besieged. So what did you think? Um, coming in completely cold to the game, aside from watching uh, the Kickstarter info and hearing what, what um, you, Don, Tiff, Glenda... Uh, said about playing at Simon, <clears throat> it was um, very easy to pick up the rules. Um, while they get in depth, uh, you know, the deeper into the game you get with the things that you encounter and everything like that, um, not difficult to uh, roll into, um, figure out how to play, figure out what you need to do. Um, overall, um, as far as a game that I have, uh, played, it was entertaining to the point of there is not a dull moment in Besieged. It really does meet expectation of four walls of utter chaos at all times. Um very enthralled um, was very excited the fact that first first game out because it doesn't normally happen with <laughs> cool mini or not games that we won <laughs> that you survive and win um, the fact that that we were able we were lucky enough to draw a short straw and get our messenger out and then draw the exact same clear path to get the messenger back in uh, very lucky very lucky but overall, I enjoyed uh, the gameplay. Now, I, being that it was the fourth time I played it, um, and, you know, the first couple times you're really getting the rules done, but even with this one, you know, we forgot to spawn the fifth spawn point every time. That may have made a small difference, but we were rank we were leveling with our, with our uh, morale up so much that I think we would have survived even if that fifth spawn point had been there. The only bad point would have been, chances are if we'd been used this fifth spawn point, the messenger would have come out on that side. <laughs> but all in all, I really like Besieged. I like the fact that you're not just thinking about killing everything, you're worried about your food source. You're, you're needing to get your gold so you can uh, pay for things and repair things. Um, I did like the three different levels of play that came out in the new fact sheet, yep. uh, but honestly, I don't think we would have gotten the avatar anyway. Um, the extra spawn for the troops chasing the messenger, that would have been a little bit of a headache had we gone you know, to the second or third level of play. Um, well, I mean, if you if you remember what we were playing, we were very focused on taking care of troops um, or the the attacking enemies, and you know, bouncing around to just a few of our uh, sections inside our walls. Um, but I'm scouring through our resource cards, you know, just kind of looking and seeing what all different types of stuff we have. In a drawn out skirmish, yeah. these cards have got really good resources in there. And they've got really bad things too. Right, but I mean, you know, acid pits to take out units and keep them from advancing. You know, beast hunters to, to where you can take care of these guys you know with the with the you know turn of a card things to assist in a long excursion you know i mean it's called besieged we all know siege warfare was you know it wasn't a, a overnight thing months siege warfare yeah took four Year, there was ever. one that was years yes i mean so you know the fact that this game could potentially like with Zombie Side, one of our 
favorite games, hands down, I'm sure. Um, when when we made the large setup, you know, it was a nine hour total game. That was mind numbing what, nine what was hour it, 30, game. 32 tiles, thirty six tiles. Uh, nine 40. by nine by four. No, yeah, thirty six. Yeah, thirty six. Thirty six tiles. Thirty six tiles. We could have lasted for more than four or five hours on one game of Besieged. And it, it's, it's you know, six tiles. Five. It, it's, it's six because well, you gotta, you yeah. got to count, count this booger off to the side. But, I mean, it really could be an epic game, uh, if, especially if you don't have a lot of players. If you got a couple, two, three, something like that, oh, Lord, first off, God help you. <laughs> but second off, you're in for a fight. Yes. Um, and but like I said, the my attraction to this game at this point is the fact that you have so much to focus on. It is. It is. It really does take a good amount of concentration. Yeah. I, and a buttload of teamwork. <laughs> I, I, what I liked. You know, you, you have the cooperative, and you really you have to cooperate. Have to because if you are, it was like the the turn that you were on the catapult. <laughs> you mean where I got stuck on the yeah. catapult? <laughs> and you were the last one to go. You know, you were the second la last to go the next round. So we couldn't use the catapult till your turn. Um, and it's like, well, can I get stuck in the barn? Does anybody else need to go to the barn in right. the next turn? Their next turn. You have to work with everybody on the team mm -hmm. because, say, I got stuck in the barn and you wouldn't, and you couldn't go there, right. but you needed bread. And it's the end of the season. Yeah, you're in trouble. You're dead. Well, you got sanctuary, but if you got if you don't have any bread, sanctuary doesn't help you enough. Right. Um. And also, as we played through it, um, we cooperated in the fact that okay. I could take so many hits. I, at one point, I could take like t my. I had ten, plus I had four armor. I, was it four? Or six, it was four armor. Yeah. So I could take a fourteen hits, and sur you know thirteen hits and survive basically. And I was like, guys, I'll, I can suck up the hits. You were the same way, Don. Same thing. Even Glenda. We were we were just sucking up hits. Yeah, Tiffany. We could Tiffany do took. It. Tiffany took what eight, eight on one, on one turn. Yeah. You know, and still still was up on still the wall. <laughs> you know? I mean, but it 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 is uh you know, you really do have to pay attention and think not only group focus, but you've got to coordinate and try and figure out, you know, who do we assault? Where do we assault? How do we need to what do we need to protect the most? Who needs what? And make sure you, you know, if you can come up with, if you play long enough, come up with a cycle of who's on the wall fighting, who's getting resources that they need, and then, you know, change it out. Now, next time we play, though, I would I would really like to explore the tavern and the marketplace more. It, it just seems that that's the one, the one drawback I found was there's not enough time to go to these places. You're worried about your bread, your gold, so you can level up. You're worried about the going to the armory or the sorcery so you can get weapons to fight with. Um, but we never really got to explore too much the tavern and the marketplace except for like Don and Tiffany pulling right. resource cards. Um, it, it just seems that it's the one drawback that there is so much potential to do and you have three turns. I know the one thing that I really do... Uh, like out of this is is the fact that you you everybody has access to this catapult regardless of what weapon sits in your hand you jump in the catapult and you know if you don't have to to move it you automatically have a, a heavy strike right at your disposal I mean that is but that's the, pretty good the, the only drawback to it and the cards help with that because there's a card that allows you to hit zone two, is that you can only use it against zone three. Right. But normally, you know, after you spawn, there's stuff in zone three. It's there. Um, 
overall, very fun game. Oh, yeah. uh, it, it can go by quick. I mean, our play, our playthrough, it took us a little bit longer than an hour because of setting up cameras and repositioning. But our playthrough is an hour and five minutes. And we really had to do three more rounds to actually win. Right. But we just, I mean, right there. There's three guys. There's, there was no fear that our messenger wasn't going to survive. And any Molin that came on, Don could take care of, so we weren't really worried about that. Right. It, it would have been, you know, focus the attack and, and, the, and the, keep, was the, it the, keep them off the walls. The Gargons, even if they came on, they wouldn't have got close. By the time they got in where they could do any damage to the messenger, he was already there. Right. Um, overall, though, thumbs up from me. Two from me. Great job, uh, the second gate. Great job on a um, really cool game. Uh, Victor, we appreciate um, all the support from the emails and stuff. And uh, uh, we really appreciate the opportunity uh, to, to do the playthrough with the, the new the, fact the sheet. The new and fact new sheet rules. and the new rules. Um, that, is, that is really, uh, I think, for. For all of us, me, Don, and, and Eric, uh, it's kind of an honor uh, to have uh, the manufacturers contact you and say, "Hey, guys, we we saw what you did. Please do a review of the right. game once we get the we, facts out. We really we we really like it. We want to want you to test drive it for us. That is beyond, as, especially awesome. as as young as our YouTube channel is. Right, we've been." We're what six seven six months August right, um, six and, months into and it. And for this to be our first playthrough, um, <laughs> it's double thumbs up. Yeah, it's it's a, a, a big appreciation uh, to getting that opportunity. Um, we all had a blast doing it. Um, you know, you could see if you watch the playthrough. Which please watch the playthrough. You see. There's a lot of banter. There's a lot of crosstalk going on while the game's going on. But well, guess we've what? been gaming together for so long, too. There you go. You know, we all pretty much know how we all operate. Um, and and it was just really uh, fun to hit the ground running uh, with this game and and watch it open up for us. And, and the fact that we won is just, it makes it even better. So, um... As always, guys, support your local uh, game store. We go to Tree Fort Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. Uh, please go out and buy Besieged. Um, if you aren't going to buy it, at least try it before you say you don't like it. Uh, it's it's worth it's the worth try. The, it's, <laughs> a, it's worth a couple of the hours sitting down <laughs> and playing. Absolutely, it's actually just so freaking fun. Yeah, you're you're not you're not going to be bored. Um, thank you again to. Uh, Second Gate Games for the opportunity to do the review and the playthrough. Uh, Victor, I hope to hear from you and the rest of the team in the future. And like I said, if you're at CMON Expo, our team will be there. So uh, please feel free to come tap us on the shoulder and introduce yourself. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to pick us out. Yeah. Uh, as always, also, if you have anything, um, that you'd like prototyped or for us to try out and play and do a playthrough on, please feel free to contact us. And, you know, anything you have to add, bud? Uh, you know, folks, please go by our YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. I believe uh, we have some Instagram posts. Yep, uh, and uh, we actually have a Twitter page, but unfortunately I don't do a lot uh, I'm usually so focused with the Facebook and the YouTube channel. It's another member of our team. Yeah. 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 Um, also, remember on our Facebook page, I do post any miniature game that comes out on Kickstarter. I do post it on the Facebook page. So if you just uh, do a like on the Facebook page, it'll show up on your uh, what? What do they call that thing? Your news feed. Yeah, news feed. And Don is some kind of wizard and finds out a whole bunch of stuff that is just being released and some things that are not released just yet and he posts them on there so well he also posts uh he has he has a page also just separate from ours uh 
but if you find ours and you want to know his page hey um shoot me a message on our page and i will get i'll give you the information for his because off the top of my head i can't think what it is right now I know it's, it used to be Tree Fort game. It might be Tree Fort games. Well, now. I think it's something like, Tree Fort and Mini and Board Games. Something like that, yeah. And he puts a lot of stuff out there when because he checks all the blogs and everything of things yeah. that are coming out like four months yeah. down the line on. He's Kickstarter. very he's very in tune. So like I said, if you want to, yeah, if you're looking for some information, that guy might have some. But as always, guys, thanks for watching and game on. Game on, folks. <laughs>